We begin at five with breaking news tonight in the case of Nathan Carmen, the man whose boat sank off the coast of Rhode Island back in 2016 with his mother on board. Nathan was rescued, but his mother was never found. Today, he was charged with her murder. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. In an indictment today, prosecutors say Carmen also shot and killed his grandfather in Connecticut in 2013. Both murders, they allege, were part of a scheme by Carmen to obtain money from the family's estate. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts joins us now live in studio with the breaking details. Amanda. Well, Mike Shannon, an eight count indictment charges Nathan Carmen with the murder of his own mother and fraud related charges. The indictment goes so far as to say that Carmen murdered his grandfather too. all of this part of an inheritance fraud scheme. Nathan Carmen, who is now 28 and lives in Vermont, made headlines back in 2016 when he went on a fishing trip off the coast of Rhode Island with his mother Linda. The boat sank and Linda's body was never found. Carmen was rescued in an unsealed indictment today. Prosecutors allege he not only killed his mother on the high seas, but also shot and killed his grandfather three years prior at his Windsor, Connecticut home. The indictment reads that his grandfather, John Chocolos, left millions in inheritance behind and two accounts had Nathan as the beneficiary. Prosecutors allege he devised a scheme to defraud the estate by killing both his grandfather and mother who stood in the way of that inheritance. Carmen has denied any involvement in their deaths. Here's what he said outside of civil court back in 2018 in New Hampshire when his family members took him to court over that inheritance. I have no idea who killed my grandfather. I know that I did not. I had nothing to do with my mother's death. Now, Carmen will be arraigned tomorrow in Vermont. If convicted, he faces life in prison. Live in studio, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.